A 15-year-old girl was killed last night on Madison's far east side in what police are calling a brutal shooting. Three other teenagers were shot, but they survived. It happened last night at about 8.30 at the Harmony at Grandview Commons Apartments. That's at the corner of Milwaukee Street and Milky Way. Authorities say they have surveillance video showing four people getting out of a vehicle, possibly a Lexus SUV, and opening fire in the area. One witness who lives nearby told us he found the victim after she'd been shot. We are all hurt, and most of us are angered by another senseless act of violence, and I believe rightfully so. Uh, there is no greater hurt than that of a parent who loses a child. More than 50 shell casings were recovered, and so far no arrests have been made, but take a good look at these photos. And now, if you see anyone or recognize the vehicle of any of these people, detectives are taking up every lead they receive. So if you have information, give Crime Stoppers a call at the number on the bottom of your screen. That's 608-266-6014. Last night's deadly shooting was the second in three months on that stretch of Milwaukee Street. Neighbors and community members tell our Armand Rahman it's very concerning. Armand? Brady, Madison police have not identified the 15-year-old girl killed, but family members and neighbors tell me off camera her name was Kaisha Miller. She was a student at Madison East High School. I was in my bedroom uh, and I heard a lot of shots, like it was like rapid fire. Jeffrey Davis saw walls and windows riddled with bullets the next morning because the night of the shooting, he was busy trying to save a life. He saw the little girl, she was laying right here. And uh, I immediately ran over to her and I was checking her pulse and everything. And I tried to do everything that I could to try to make sure she was comfortable and, you know, until help got here. It was the second time in roughly three months he had to see a young person shot and killed in his apartment complex. It's, it's sad because a lot of young people losing their lives for nothing. Since July, when a 20-year-old man was fatally shot, Madison police say there have been 136 calls for service to the Harmony at Grandview Commons apartment complex. It's sad because a lot of young people losing their lives for nothing. Alders say the part of the far east side where the affordable housing complex is located has not developed fast enough for the residents' needs. The city plans to send a letter to management demanding some changes. Improving the security of the parking lot so that folks can't just drive through and around the back. Improving the cameras. They also want the company to look into more children and youth programming. Residents say right now there's only the playground and community room. There's computers in there, gym and everything in there, but it'd be locked after a certain time. And then you got younger kids around, you know, around her age, you know, they hang out. Davis says hanging out was exactly what this young girl was doing. Uh, people in my family, uh, my friends, they kids, they was calling me. They were saying, please tell me it wasn't her. And it, and it, you know, unfortunately it was her. She was loved by a lot of people. The city of Madison also plans to declare the Harmony apartment complex a public nuisance again. Per respects of the family, a vigil that was planned for tonight will be held privately tomorrow.